Okay, we got Warble playing Wolfar in the orange versus Master playing Caesar in the teal. I'm very curious to see how this opening is going to play out. Yeah, both of them doing the correct lumber mill rush with their commanders. Have to skip a capture on this map at the beginning. Uh, unless you want to fall behind. They are playing on Pearlescent, which... As far as I know, I think this is going to be the last event we run Pearlescent in, so... Uh, people definitely had some opinions on this map. Uh, and we will be paying attention to those. And maybe this map will be... Uh, or maybe this match, I should say, will be an example of... Uh, that coming into fruition, but for now, we're seeing Wolfar versus Caesar, and I think Wolfar is a strong pick on this map. You got a bit of uh, flagstone to play around with. You got some like early aggression. The unit count is like relatively low compared to something like Harmonious, where you have like five production facilities as opposed to here, where you only really have three. Yep, nothing too spectacular right now. Commander setting up the aggressive. Ooh, but Master banked for a dragon, actually. But as I say that, something interesting happens. But it's Wolf Art, and this is a lower econ map, so Wolf Art potentially could be a big threat to this dragon. 88%. Uh, so, won't have Groove at the end of this turn, but could potentially have Groove next turn, depending on how they go. And what's Master going to do? They're going to respond, knock down this village. They're going to go and do this with their commander as opposed to with the sword. A, bit, a little bit extra groove because of that. But Caesar's still a ways off. And they're also facing down a dragon. Now they do have a wagon to back this up, which means they're going to be able to position that mage more aggressively. Can Warble actually get a free turn? Oh yeah, they can get a free hit on this village. Is, you know very nice for them dragon actually goes up to the mid position they're not going to threaten wolfar directly but just going to kind of space him out okay and now wolfar has groove maid's going to move into that center position and witch getting built as well actually it makes a lot of sense they are very good against dragons but oh dragon finds an opening Take advantage of that as well. Okay, we'll far. Let's go. Gonna take down that sword. Oh, finds an opening themselves and also going to be able to get some damage and takes both villages. So, Warble actually in a really nice position right now. And Master are just not close to having Groove. Okay, this dragon needs to do something. Okay, it's gonna knock down the village, flip it back. Caesar just walks straight up in front of the opponent's dragon, which is in position. And, ooh, when your opponent has a witch and you have a witch, it becomes very annoying. Because all of a sudden, like, you can't one-shot the dragon anymore. And if they park, like, their own witch next to it, they hit your witch. That's a, very unpleasant position. Ooh, we got tier two coming in. Alright, where's this going? Spear. Goes for the witch. Oh, that makes sense. Now the dragon could come in and do some, some big damage. And ooh, Warble's in a really nice position now. This is extremely dangerous for Mastro, who doesn't have groove. I don't know if they can even build it this turn. We're gonna find out. Okay, which is just going to fly over to the left hex. There's a second dragon coming out now. Okay, but we're seeing a lot of openings here. Sword goes down. Caesar gets groove. Oh, but doesn't use it. Okay, how's this going? Very aggressive position there for Caesar. Uh, 
All right. We're going to keep pushing forwards. Dragon, you know, it's still threatening. Oh, especially if you get the hit on the mage like that. And now... Oh, that's really difficult. Because, yeah, what, what can you do? Like, the mage just doesn't have enough health to really kill anything itself. All right, he's going to go for the hit on the center dragon. Caesar's just going to go pull back. Yeah, I guess he wants to just bank for tier two. And there just needs to be more anti on the map. And yeah, like three mages backing this army up. You got Caesar as well. But is Wolfar close to second groove? No. Still a ways away. Alright, gets a kill though. 68%. So, kind of getting there. But Morgul does have an econ advantage right now. One extra village up here. And yeah. Master isn't going to be able to put any pressure on the bottom right for a while. So... Yeah, we're well, just going to be a little bit ahead. Uh, really, like, what does Master have to fight with right now? One dragon, a bunch of mages, like a knight. And you look at Warble's army, double dragon, double witch. Wolfhart slowly building up another groove. And Caesar, oh, he's so far away from tier two. I know people like to consider Caesar definitely a lot stronger in general. <clears throat> but Wolfar, on a map where Wolfar can force fights and can force commander versus uh, army. And kind of get into the thick of things and where there isn't enough stuff to kill him if he goes in for a groove. He really does shine. Yeah, just a huge defense there on the, on the stronghold. Army swings down to the bottom right. And Warble, kind of forced to... Oh, I like that move with the dog. Yeah, just going to block. And now both players have Golem. Kind of bigger, chunkier unit comes out. I like this nice horizontal line formed for defense. It's extremely difficult to break something like this. The only way is if you have like a really heavy hitting unit one-shot stuff. Oh, but Mastro, he's doing a good job on the sides, but the timer... The timer is becoming really punishing at this point. 23 minutes left on the clock for Mastro. But Mastro, you know, they've, they've now kind of taken like a bigger chunk of the map. But only just. Okay, Hex comes in, second Hex is going to come in. Alright, is Warble just going to push? They are. Mage goes in, gets a kill. Dragon goes in, gets another kill. And I think this is it. This is going to be the turn where they push in. Use that one sword just to delay a little bit in the bottom right. And yeah, they're setting up for lethal at this point. They have enough on defense. Yeah, can Master defend? All of Master's army is in the wrong place. Caesar just doesn't have tier 2 yet. Like, the game just hasn't allowed for that to happen. And Master just has to go in with everything they can. And kind of hope that they can get tier 2. No, 193. Ooh. Golem. Dog. 200. Oh, right. So we're going to see, like, the most bare bones tier 2 you've ever seen. And it might work. The mages are going to have a long range to run with this. They're going to be able to do a lot of damage to these dragons. They're going to be able to damage this mage pretty heavily. That was like okay, but it felt so forced. And I think we've got a wolf for tier 2 after this. Like this army is just going to stand here and fight. And yeah, first crit comes in. We're going to see lots and lots of damage going on here. Ooh, 188. Yeah, we're going to see a tier 2 any moment now. Okay, swords. Maybe we would have liked to have seen the dragon, actually, but 
No, that's just gonna go for a huge damage. Dragon falls to a mage. And oh, even the golem goes down. Oh, that's really unfortunate. We never want to see that happen. And yeah, just getting like the damage they can. This injured dragon even able to put in a bit of work. And that's building up Wolfar to another groove as well, whereas Caesar is really far behind. What are we looking at? 20%? Ooh. Yeah, that's brutal. Okay. Master, they're not out of it yet. They're going to keep fighting. They keep picking up kills. The, the, lose, the loss of the golem, I think, is the huge thing. Because that would have been like the one big blocker unit they could have put in front, along with Caesar. And yeah, they just don't have access to that anymore. And I think at this point, Warwall can just keep pushing, keep doing lots of damage, opening up sides. I think, is this the stronghold they actually just fall this turn? It does. Spear crit will do it. 42% left on that stronghold, and yep. Warble is going to take it. They're going to go ahead, qualify for the first Wargroove Championship for Wargroove 2. And we're going to see more of them going forwards. And Mastro, in a very impressive showing, goes down to Warble. They're going to be in the next qualifier, I think. Unfortunately, losing out. And unfortunately, you know, like, they played Caesar, a commander that they had considered, I think a lot of people considered, like, really, really strong, like, borderline broken, and goes down to Wolfar in a very unfortunate uh, third game. But that is just the way things go sometimes. But yeah, Warble. Someone who came into the community with Wargroove 2, uh... But it's been putting on a really good showing so far. Like they've been really grinding out those test your metal ga uh, games. They've been playing Mercia, who all of us were like, well, some of us, I think, me especially, was like, oh, you know, maybe Warbles figured something out with Mercia, but no, they were just kind of like training their fundamentals and working on, you know, can they do well with like one of the weaker commanders in the game, and it's paid off. They like they're going into these events, they're doing super well, uh, and we're gonna see them in the next. Uh, championship and master we're going to see them in the next open qualifier so I'm looking forward to them and when I say next championship we're actually going to see Warble in the next round because they are there's still games to be played you still have to play semi-finals and finals for this and there's a bronze match as well so we're going to see some of that too but yeah anyway well played Warble takes it